Genmo is a brand new open source AI video model, and it's creating some of the most realistic and cinematic videos that we've seen. In blind user comparisons, it is ranking amongst the best AI video models. This is a true step forward in low censorship and low cost AI video for everyone. Just take a look at the preview video that they released with their model. And here we can see a whole collection of high quality, consistent, and realistic videos. Now, the Genmo model has specifically trained itself to be focused on realism. So although it does handle animation, it has a focus on creating realistic videos. And you can see from this collection of examples that it does a fantastic job. If you're new here, I'm AI Samson, and on this channel we explore the latest frontiers of AI creativity. Now this model is called Mochi One, and they say it's our first public open source release. It's licensed under Apache 2 for both individual and commercial use. The Apache 2 license is an extremely permissible license, allowing users to freely modify, distribute, and commercialize their creations. Now, the key facts about Genmo Mochi 1 is that currently it generates video in 480p, though you can upscale these using an AI upscaler. It generates videos currently at five seconds long, and best of all is that it's open source, so you can download it and run it on your own machine. You can also run it online or in the cloud. Let's take a look at some of the best examples coming out of Genmo. So here we can see two characters full screen with extremely realistic facial features and consistent arm movements. Now in terms of realism, just look how beautifully rendered this video is. We get a lovely sense of shimmering amongst the outfit that this character is wearing, and the beautiful light refracted in her eyes gives it a real sense of realism. Here we have a gentleman gazing out of the window, and what works so well here is the understanding of light in the generation. You can see that the source of light is coming from the window, and it casts these strong cinematic shadows across the side of his face. Now we have a much more complex shot with a lot of movement going on. And you can see here we start to get a little bit of morphing, but that can be sacrificed for the higher degree of motion and dynamism in the shot. You really get a sense of urgency as well. Specifically, it feels like this character has suddenly been challenged and is on a mission to fulfill his purpose. But we have to also observe how are the characters acting in the background? Are they moving in a coherent manner that we would expect. So you would say that the speed of this shot is actually perhaps a little bit fast. Usually the problem with AI video is that it slows things down to a almost ridiculous slow motion. Whereas here we have the opposite effect. Here we have another realistic example and we get a lovely shot rotating around this protagonist. We don't quite get the individual hair, hairs rendered on his beard, but there is a a sense of cohesion to the shot, especially with the lighting and the colors. Now, here we can see the way that the AI manages to deal with the complex movement of cycling. And what's great about this is the bike is moving forward at a speed that seems to make sense. It is not going too fast or too slow, and it is going in a speed that relates to the way that the floor is moving beneath him. So it does not look like he's sliding or floating above the floor. We get a good sense of physics here. Now in this situation, we have a, another complex movement for the AI to understand. Here this woman is washing the glass. And what's wonderful is that we get a sense of the different layers inside of this shot. We have the background, we have the midground, and we have the foreground of the glass. And they're all working in tandem. We also get a nice sense of a, a sun focus on her face just here, and then it's gone. And the motion of her wiping the window uh, feels realistic. This is how you would imagine someone to interact with a window. And just look at the marks that are left on the glass as she wipes the paper across. This is something that's quite difficult for AI to understand, is that how something interacts with something else. How does it leave an impression on it? And it does very well in this instance. Now, of course, this is the ultimate benchmark of any AI video model. It's how does it handle Will Smith eating spaghetti? And we have to say a couple of things about this. Firstly, is that it does a good job at rendering a realistic version of Will Smith. However, he does eat it in a slightly nonsensical way, <laughs> as if he may be uh, slightly having a mental trouble here with his spaghetti, in that he's sort of dancing around with it and then <laughs> sucking on it. Very amusing. So we'd have to give it good points for lifelike relation to the individual that we asked for, but we have to say that it does struggle with eating spaghetti in a sensible manner. 
But who am I to judge how you eat your spaghetti? So moving on to another eating example, we have these two young lads eating sushi. So again, what we're looking for here is not only the an anatomical correctness of the characters, making sure that their faces and hands are correct. And in this instance, we can see pretty good adherence to that. There's no extra digits that we can spot. And also the fingers look relatively correct in each of their lengths. However, where we start to fall down is how they're interacting with the food. How are these boys picking up their pieces of sushi? And what you can see is that he's not quite grasping this. And this one is a little bit better. But the other problem is, is that it does not look like it's going into his mouth. It looks like he's holding it against his mouth and then taking a tiny little bite. And from this angle, we cannot see that a piece of the sushi has been removed and consumed by the characters, which is another thing that we look out for when analyzing the success of AI video for eating food. So here is a more cinematic shot. And you can see this is really where Genmo is standing out as one of the best realistic cinematic AI video generators out. We get a lovely sense of both cinematic qualities of the color, but also beautiful camera movement as we focus from the man's face and we come down to a note which really starts to invoke a curiosity about this character, uh, what they are doing and where they are going. And the fact that it's able to understand this quite complex series of instructions to focus on the man's face, to then come down to his letter, shows us the possibilities of using this as a narrative tool. Next up is something that I don't recommend that you do, is allow your small child to ride on their golden retriever. But this is a complex concept. And what's great about this is that it shows that with AI video, we can start to create things that we might not want to try at home. I particularly like how much the child seems to be enjoying this ride. It is wonderful how it's managed to match the emotions to the situation. Here we have another challenge for AI in how it understands the interaction between a human and a camera. Is he holding it to his eye? Is he holding it in a sensical way? Now, this is an interesting example of a man on a mountaintop. The main thing I'd like to draw your attention to here is the fact that it looks like his helmet is made of wool. We get a nice sense of camera motion and continuity in the facial features of the character. This is something that we often struggle with in AI video is that the character has to look the same at the start of the shot as at the end of the shot. So they don't age or change ethnicity or gender. Now, this is one of my favorite shots that I've seen coming out of Genmo. We've got these wonderful atmospheric rain and lightning really evoking a sense of atmosphere. Again, this is another shot that demonstrates the true capabilities of this video model. There are a number of excellent and complex elements to this shot. Firstly, we have the fact this woman is being reflected in the window. Secondly, that has to then be a transparent window that also shows the outside. Beyond this, the woman needs to remain stable whilst the background goes off into the distance. Now it does appear to do all of this extremely well. And we even get some beautiful lifelike blinks of this woman's eye. Absolutely marvelous, a stunning shot. The only thing you might pick out on is that there seems to be a little bit of morphing going on with her hand, and perhaps it doesn't quite look natural that it's sort of being shoved into her crotch in such a way, but I'm being particularly pernickety. Here again, we have another lifelike example. Now there's just a little bit of morphing or shuttering coming into the shot here, but it's a beautiful artistic interpretation. Now moving on to the animal kingdom, we can see some excellent individual hairs being rendered here and a lovely fluttering of the curtain in front of this very relaxed looking pussycat. Now we have a nice canine on the beach and we have to say that we enjoy the acting of the canine, that it, these are some realistic movements of a dog enjoying himself at the beach. You can see the way that he's arcing his neck and, and barking and the ears are flipping up and down as he jostles around. There's also a nice sense of cohesion in the color palette of this shot. Now, if you notice anything in the AI examples that I didn't pick up on, do let me know in the comments. Here we have another little dog who looks like he's asking for a sweet treat, saying he's a very good boy. And you certainly get a sense of endearment to this creature and their big eyes and the beautiful sense of movement in the ears here. You really get a sense of the texture, the cartilage inside of his ears. Now we have a very royal cat here. And this shot works really well because we have this lovely sense of atmosphere created by the candle lights flickering in the background. Genmo has specifically said that they are targeting realism and you can see how well it's performing with both humans and animals. 
but it's also capable of handling a whole variety of other styles and mediums. Here we have a Pixar style video and you can see it does extremely well at generating this output. Next up we have a more anime style and you can see there's a little bit of morphing but the characters seem engaged and there is a nice sense of story developing between these two perhaps on a second date. Now here is a, another style, a 3D development, and it shows us the creative breadth of this model. Now this is one of the best animation examples I've seen. This shows us a whole different host of elements that are impressive. First of all, we have a, a really engaging character design here. You have to notice all of the elements that work so well together, specifically the costume design. Now. The background is also very detailed and immersive, and we get a wonderful separation between the character and the background too. There is a nice contrast between not only the warmth, but also the lighting. And then we get a very dynamic animation that all works cohesively. We have this sudden magic trick and these wonderful explosion of lights. It's a remarkable shot. Again, another children's style animation. And we have a lovely looking lion and we get a good sense of moving forward in the scene. That's not simply a static slow motion shot, but actually we start to go somewhere. Now, this is another one that I love because there's a real sense of emotion in this character. You can see that he's sad, though, although this tear does, instead of perhaps dropping from his eye, it simply appears on his cheek. It does still give us the potential for generating very strong animation with AI. Let's take a look at a few other examples from other situations. So here we have more of a uh, atmospheric scenic shot and we get a nice sense of understanding that there is a candle inside of the pumpkin. There is a lovely contrast between these oranges and the blues of the sky. Now here is a nature shot and you can see this has a very dreamlike ethereal feel to it as we're almost floating through this forest. Now here is almost a piece of stock video and it does extremely well. You can imagine this being a piece of B-roll in any Crypto Bros video. Now I'm going to be a lot harsher and we're really going to show the limitations of this model. Now the limitations here affect all AI video models, but we're specifically going to take a look at how Genmo handles some of the most complex and challenging elements of creating motion, coherence and realism. So first up is walking. Now you would imagine that walking is a simple thing for AI video to generate, but it's incredibly difficult to get looking natural and correct. And here you can see this character running across this grass field doing a fairly good job. However, you would say there is quite a lot of morphing going on in the arms. At times the arms look almost as if there are no bones in them, they're simply floppy sausages. Now again, we have an old couple walking in the park and their young nephew playing with leaves. So let's take a look exactly at how well they're walking. So there's quite a lot of morphing going on. And this is the type of shot that AI still struggles with, where we have a number of humans who are quite small in the shot and they're moving quickly and dynamically. So you have to say that although it's doing a decent job, there is a huge room for improvement. Next up is writing, drawing or painting. And this is challenging because what we want to see is an exact relation to the influence being placed on the page and the amount of ink or paint being left. So they're starting to create a realistic and believable piece of art. So here we have somebody drawing with a pencil, creating a man. And you can see here, they start to touch the paper. There's no evidence of anything being drawn. Then we get some very faint marks coming in, which seem to make sense, but they do not make sense in the fact of, it's not clear exactly what part of the drawing he is now adding. It simply seems that he is destroying his own drawing. <laughs> now here we get a much better interpretation of what is going on. And you can see this is letting us down because there is nothing <laughs> being applied from his brush. So there is still some way to go in real world understanding of the AI video model. Now, another challenge for the AI is to accurately render pieces of text. So here the prompt was asking for the top 10 viral videos of 2021. And you can see that it does not render this at all correctly. There is nothing even clear to what we asked for. And now I'm going to show you some of the uh, real failures of the model. Now, again, this is one of the hardest scenes for AI to create, which is a lot of characters moving in complex ways. And you can see that it really seems like something out of quite a intense psychedelic trip. And sometimes this model creates things that are simply 
uh, highly anesthetic that this there is a very creepy version of uh, this religious figure. And if we're looking for consistent movements of arms and body language, you can see that sometimes we're getting morphing and blending between the limbs. However, I want to say that this is me uh, trying to pull apart this model, trying to show you some of the limitations of it. And what we're really going to look at now is how we can get the best out of this model because it is quite simply the best open source AI video model there is. And it is frankly on par with the best closed source competitors. So right now there are a couple of ways that you can use Genmo. First of all, you can use it for free online in their own playground. So if you come to genmo.ai, you can go to try now and you'll be taken to their own AI video platform. Here you have the opportunity to describe your video and input your own prompt. If you're looking for ideas for effective video prompts, I created an entire way to leverage ChatGPT to write the most effective AI video prompts. And you can check that video out here. I'll show you quickly how it works so we can have a demonstration. You can simply put in any concept and ChatGPT will elaborate this out into a full descriptive and effective AI video prompt. And it works like this. You can say something like, I'm looking for a time lapse of a busy London train station. And ChatGPT will then output a much more specific, articulate and accurate prompt for this, which we can then take and paste this into Mochi. Once you're happy with your prompt, you can go ahead and press generate. And then we have a couple of other options. There are a few prompt ideas below the prompt input box. And you also can press the need prompt ideas and it'll put in a example prompt. There is a settings option and this simply allows you to choose the Mochi model or a older legacy model. Now, there is also the option to define a seed and this can be useful if you are trying to recreate similar videos. And finally, we have stealth mode, which when enabled, this creation will be hidden from your public profile and community feeds. So if you're working on a top secret project, you can turn that on. If you scroll down, you'll see your recent creations. You can view all of these by clicking on view all of your creations. And what's particularly useful is browsing through the community creations. Now you can also like any of these and these will be saved into your liked folder, which is great for collecting inspiration. So you can scroll through these and if there's something that you like the look of, you can hover over it and press the T inside of a clipboard icon and that will put that prompt into your prompt bar. Now, currently for free, you can create up to four videos every six hours with a maximum 30 videos monthly to explore your creativity. So this is for personal use, non-commercial use for this free plan. This is great to test out Genmo and see if it's a good fit for you. Now, the light mode is $10 a month and it allows you to create eight videos every six hours and a total of 80 videos per month. You also get full commercial rights with this. Next up is the standard mode, and that's $30 a month, which gives you 32 videos every six hours and a total of 180 videos per month. It's also useful because you get high speed priority generations. Now, of course, what's obviously fantastic about this is that you can download it and run it on your own machine. However, you will need a very powerful computer with a lot of RAM to run it effectively. But how does the online version compare in pricing to some of the other top AI video models? So with Minimax, if you pay $10, you'll end up paying around five cents per second of footage. With Runway, you pay five times as much as that. And for $15, you end up paying 25 cents per second. But Genmo is changing the future and lowering the cost of entry to creating AI video because with their paid online version, you will only pay 0.025 cents per second, which is twice as cheap as Minimax, the leading low cost AI video generator. But I stress this is going to become even cheaper as users are able to build their own online offerings for cloud computing using Genmo, which will give people much lower cost of using cloud computing to create videos with Genmo. So here we can see our beautiful time lapse starting to take shape inside of Genmo. And what's great about this is it gives us a update of how far through the progression it is. And here is our output. And we get a 
beautiful sense of a, lo a busy London train station. Looks a little bit like Liverpool Street. Once it's generated, you can download it with the download icon on top of each of the cards below. So how does Genmo match up to the other AI video models? Well, on their website, Genmo has released some information about how... Now, on this website, Genmo has released how well its platform matches up in prompt adherence to other leading AI video models. Now, this has been created by asking a number of users to rate their preference based on prompt adherence for different outputs from different models. And here you can see that Genmo is pronouncing itself as the best. Though this seems to be a theme of any AI released model where the model is showcasing that they are the best compared to the other models based on some unbiased user rating. However, the most important factor of any research is usually who is funding the research. And if you see how well it is performing on motion quality, you can see that once again, it is also saying that it's leading the way, though it does look what you might say as almost equivalent to Kling. And it does not say whether this is Kling 1 or Kling 1.5. But let me show you a fantastic website that gives us a more unbiased or perhaps fair review. And this is called Artificial Analysis. And what's great about this is that it ranks different AI models based on user ratings. So in their leaderboard, you can see that they rate Minimax as the best AI video model, followed by Genmo, which is followed by Runway, which is still incredibly impressive that this open source AI video model is ranking above many of the leading closed source video models. So let me show you how this works. What happens is you can come to Arena and you have to select which of the videos you prefer. Now the exact wording of this is which video best reflects this prompt. Then you get the prompt and in this example it is a day in the life of an air traffic controller from a quiet night shift to managing a busy morning rush. Now you then have two videos below which you do not know which model generated these and then you have to select which one you prefer. You can either click on them or you can use your keys. So in this example, they are both fairly useless at adhering to the prompt, as well as creating some coherent motion. So I will marginally go with the one on the left because this one on the right simply looks like an image. You're then shown two more, but what you get before is you get to see which were the models from the last round. So let's do another one. So here we have deep in the ocean, a mermaid rides a giant white shark. So instantly I will choose the one on the right because there is no evidence of a mermaid on the one on the left. So we'll go with prefer the one on the right. And you can see here that the one on the right was a pika. Now you can start to do this more quickly and choose the ones that you prefer. So I'll go with the one on the left here. And then you can see that that was cling. And then this one, I will go with the one on the right. And you can see that was runway. In this one, I will go with the one on the right, and you can see that was Luma, which beat Cog. And what you have to do is you have to go through and rate at least 30, and then you can see which of the models you prefer most. Every time you do 30, it will update your own personal leaderboard. And then you can come to your personal leaderboard and see which of the video models that you prefer most. Now, I was pretty shocked when I got this because it told me that my favorite was Genmo compared to Minimax, Lumalabs, Pika, and that I actually rated Runway as second to bottom. And I suppose this is the importance of doing blind testing because it's only when you have no ability to bias yourself that you can really see what your preference is. Because if I were to relate my own preferences from my own experience, I would certainly say that I think uh, Minimax is just the best right now, and I would put Genmo on par with Runway. So it's very shocking to me to see that this was the situation, and I would definitely put Pika and Luma below Runway. But one caveat for this is that this simply shows text to video, and the main way that I use AI video is with image to video. And currently, Genmo does not have image to video, but it is a feature that they will release very, very soon. So I was a little bit skeptical of this, and I thought I would do my own testing. So I have tested what I think are the two best AI video models, and also what this leadership ranking has shown me. And I'm testing Minimax against Genmo. Now I'm putting this through the test with a number of challenging prompts. Picture this, your voice perfectly cloned and even translated into any language. Now with NVIDIA AI, you can take your perfectly cloned voice and create entire videos with just a prompt. You can then 
have that translated into dozens of different languages, all whilst maintaining your own vocal tone. Here's how it works. First, log into NVIDIA AI, then clone your voice in English and select your AI video prompt. NVIDIA AI does the rest. It creates the script, the images, the music, and it puts them all together to get a video like this. You need to watch this if you've ever dreamed of exploring the stars. Space is calling. Are you ready to answer? Now from this, all you have to do is enter in another language in the command box and it will automatically translate your entire video into a new language, whether that's Hindi, German, French, Spanish, or many more. And what's great is it maintains your vocal personality, even in the translated version. Tienes que ver esto si alguna vez has soñado con explorar las estrellas. Now you can use this on the iOS app or on the desktop. Best of all is you can try AI in video for free today. But if you are serious about content creation, then you'll want to upgrade to the $20 a month plan. With this, you'll get all of the voice cloning features as well as watermark free exports and much, much more. Check out the link in the description below and use my code to get an extra set of free credits. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. First of all, we're going to look at a figure skater medium shot tracking. And this is a version out of Genmo. And it does a very good job at prompt adherence until we get to the face where suddenly it's a morphing mass of features. But the motion and the elegance and particularly sparkles are rendered particularly well. Now the Minimax edition gave us this slightly darker, more foreboding version. I do like the tracks that she is tracing and we also get more of a tracking shot. So I would say marginally here I would go with the Minimax. However, we suddenly get a hand with at least six digits. Next up I gave it another challenging prompt and this one was asking the AI to pour milk into a glass. And what we're looking for here is an exact relation between the amount of milk being poured into the glass and the amount of milk filling up inside of the glass. And you can see here, the milk comes towards the glass and the one thing that we're missing here is <laughs> that the milk is increasing in the glass. There is a slight hint that we're getting increasing, but we would like to see more. The other thing I'd like to draw your attention to is <laughs> that the, the milk is already oscillating and undulating inside of the glass before we pour anything inside of it. This is the Genmo version. So let's compare that with Minimax. Now we get a more comprehensive shot and immediately we get a well-rendered, anatomically correct pair of hands. Now, one little issue is the milk does start to fill up. Yes, before we've even poured any, any milk into the glass. But, so from about here, when the milk is in the glass and they're going up, it does a very good job. So it's not perfect, but again, it is slightly better than Genmo. Now, Another element that is extremely difficult for AI to work with is complex fighting. And I've asked in this instance for two boxes. This is the Genmo output and we get a good sense of motion. It seems as if they're fighting in a somewhat realistic way. It's a little bit argy-bargy without any clear strikes, but I do admire the, this muted, grungy, opaque color palette. Now we look at this against Minimax and again you can see the struggles that Minimax has. The striking it seems to be such a challenging motion for AI to work with. that It simply seems like perhaps they're dancing here or play fighting rather than actually fighting. So I'd have to say this one is more of a draw. Now here I looked for a meteor to land in a serene lake. And again, we're looking at a good reaction from the lake and Genmo does a great job comparing this to Minimax. And again, you would have to say that the details of Minimax are more impressive and there is a beautiful sense of, of explosion and then the light being reflected on the trees around this lake. So I would give that one to Minimax. So overall, testing what I think is the best AI video generator against this new open source model, I would say that Minimax just still has the edge. However, it is more expensive and it is not open source. This is also the first version of Genmo that we've seen and we can only expect it to get better. This is the worst that it will ever be. Likely in a week or even tomorrow, it's going to be even better. Now, as for censorship, many models do not allow you to create realistic interpretations of celebrities. And Genmo allowed me to create Donald Trump, whereas other models such as Minimax do not allow the generation of figures such as Trump. The 
online playground version of Genmo has a lot of restrictions involved. However, it does allow you a lot of flexibility with both the use of celebrities and other slightly, shall we say, more salacious content. However, we can expect that as this is an open source model that people are going to be releasing their own versions of this online that will be a lot less filters. And it's going to be the best low censorship model that we're going to be able to use. Now on the online playgrounds, you can see that even putting in something such as this uh, gets moderated by the playground version. And a little fun fact in case you didn't know is that mochi is a short grained, sweet and gluttonous rice with a high starch content used in Japanese cooking. Now, if you are interested in creating entire films with AI, I'd love to invite you to my AI Filmmaker Academy. This is an in-depth course where we go from generating an idea for a video all the way through to creating a comprehensive piece of film. We look at the latest tools and how we can combine them in an effective way. We look at voice generation, image generation, and video generation. And I go through in detail the best approaches to challenging incidents inside of AI video, such as consistent characters and consistent scenery. And if you're interested in joining, there is a special discount for all of my viewers in the description below. I also have a newsletter, which I'd love to invite you to. And if you sign up for that, you get a free ebook on AI side hustles to give you some ideas about the way that, that you can create it digital products with AI. And that's free in the description below. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of Genmo in the comments and please like and subscribe to stay updated with the latest AI news. And most of all, I hope you have a delightful day.